Oh, hello there. Pow, in your face, fall makeup. I posted this photo on Instagram like probably over a week ago and I've been promising to upload the video for it ever since, so here it finally is. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is a drugstore makeup tutorial and I know how much you love them. This is a super dark vampy look. I've done a similar one to this, which I will link below, and it was with department store products and I did it last year for Valentine's Day. If you don't want to live life in the fast lane like me, you could always wear a new lip instead, but I vote that you try the dark lip first. Even if you don't go out, just experiment. All right, let's do this. Firstly, I'm going to prime my face with the L'Oreal Oil-Free Miracle Blur. I talked about this in my haul and I'm loving it. I'm only using a very small amount and I'm massaging it into my nose, my forehead, and my chin because my pores in that area are bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. For foundation today, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Whipped because it's long lasting, it's super matte, and it looks very fair on me, which goes perfect with these lips. So I'm just buffing it into my skin with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I want my under eye to be flawless, so I'm going to be using the 16 hour stay all day concealer by Essence. And this one is in natural beige, and I'm actually gonna use this yellow Maybelline correcting concealer over top because I find it kind of balances it out a little bit. The brush I'm using to blend it in is by e.l.f. And as always, I will be listing everything I'm using in the description box below. To set that under eye, I'm going to be using the same e.l.f. brush and my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation, and this one is an ivory. And then to powder my face, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and this one is in Transparent, and I'm using my Boo, the Powder Puff. Once that's nicely buffed in, I'm going to be moving on to my brows. First, I'm combing out any powder or foundation with a clean spoolie, and then I'm going to start filling them in with my Revlon Brow Fantasy in Dark Blonde. So I'm using the pencil side, filling them in, and then I'm going to be gelling them down with the tinted brow gel on the other end. As usual, I'm going to be using the Essence Eye Hard Stage Eyeshadow Base, and I'm applying it with a synthetic brush. And now I'm going to be using this Revlon Line Fantasy Cream Eyeliner in Chocolate. I don't know if they still make this, but you can use any cream brown eyeshadow or pencil. Just make sure it's creamy. So I'm dipping a pencil brush into it and I'm running it just along my lash line and I'm actually pressing it into my lash line as well, super messily. You don't have to do this tidy at all, you can be like super Kate Moss about it. And for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using this matte chocolatey brown eyeshadow by Maybelline and it's in the color Nutmeg. So I've cleaned off my pencil brush and I'm going to be dipping it into this eyeshadow and I'm going to be packing this eyeshadow into the cream eyeshadow that I already have on. I am so stoked that I found this eyeshadow. I think it's so perfect for fall. I love that it's matte. It has great payoff and it was like three bucks. Once I've got it nice and packed into my lash line, I'm going to be taking a blending brush and I'm going to apply it to the rest of my lid all the way up to my crease. You want to pack this on pretty heavily below your crease and then feather it out as you reach the upper part of your crease. That's why I only applied the cream base to the first portion of my lid space because I want it to look really smoked out and faded and super grunge. Surprise, surprise. Surprise! I'm gonna apply some Wet n Wild Brulee to my eyebrow bone and then with that same blending brush and no additional product, I'm going to blend what's left on the brush upwards towards Brulee for some extra smokiness. And then as usual, I'm cleaning up around my eye with brulee. Taking that same pencil brush and a little bit more of nutmeg, I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to line my waterline with the Revlon Luxurious Color Smoky Crayon. And this is in black smoke. Now it's time to curl my lashes and then I'm going to throw on some L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black on my top and bottom lashes. Of 
For blush today, I'm going to be using this matte smoky red by NYX and it's in Desert Rose. I think this is an absolutely great fall color and it's suitable for all skin tones. Now for this look, you can do a nude lip, but when I do a dark fall look, I don't play around. I absolutely love dark lips and I highly suggest you at least try this once. So I'm starting out with my NYX lip liner in deep purple. I'm lining and filling in my lips with it. And then I'm going to use my favorite lipstick, which shortly after filming this, I realized looks just like Rebel by MAC. This is Milani's color statement lipstick in Sangria. Here is a shot of Sangria. And then here is a shot of Rebel. Twinsies! The camera doesn't do it justice, but I'd say they're about 90% the same shade. So I'm applying this to my lips with a lip brush because I find I have way more control of the product this way, especially with dark lips. Precision is key. So once I'm done the lips, I'm going to take just the smallest amount of concealer and then I'm going to run it along the outside of my lip line and I'm just cleaning up any jagged edges so I don't have a crooked smile. J. Cole reference, thumbs up if you listen to J. Cole. Then I'm going to touch up the lip liner a tiny bit more and oh what the hell, why not throw on some bronzer? I'm using Physicians Formula Bronze Booster and this is perfect for me because I'm super fair and I think it looks super subtle. So I'm dusting that around my hairline, cheekbones, and wherever else. And that wraps up the look. So again, super affordable, simple, yet elegant, edgy, and sophisticated, all in one. I know it might be shocking because I'm blonde and blue-eyed, but I love to play around with like gothic, sort of dark, grungy shades. I think they're gorgeous. So I triple dog dare you to try it for yourself. I hope this video was worth the wait. All of the products that I mentioned will be listed in the description box as per usual. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.